The Vectraset liner hanger from NCS Multistage has many premium features that ensure trouble-free installation and long-term reliability. The one-piece hanger mandrel has a tension strength exceeding 400,000 pounds. The robust torque ring engages with the running tool torque ring to enable hanger rotation during liner deployment. 18 hydraulically actuated slips distribute hanging load evenly around the casing. The slips are fully recessed and protected against damage during run-in. The large bypass area around the hanger slips facilitates return flow during cement displacement. The mechanically set liner top packer has a metal-backed bonded elastomer element that will not swab off even at high circulation rates. The standard tie-back receptacle is 20 feet long, twice the length of receptacles on competitive systems. The extra length provides plenty of travel for the floating tie-back seals during fracturing operations. The running tool cannot release the liner hanger accidentally because it is secured both with retaining dogs and a float nut. It can release only with right-hand rotation after the hanger slips have been set and the retaining dogs disengage. The running tool also incorporates a mechanical contingency release. The retaining dogs lock into the running tool torque ring, so the liner hanger can be pushed and pulled as needed during deployment. The dual ball seat design ensures that setting pressures are completely contained within the running tool when unlocking the retaining dogs and setting the hanger slips. This prevents surge forces on the liner and formation and saves time and displacement fluid during deployment. Installing the Vectraset liner hanger is simple, straightforward, and reliable. After landing the liner, the first step is to unlock the retaining dogs so they can disengage from the running tool torque ring. With the running string in tension, a setting ball dropped from the surface seals on the upper ball seat. Pressure above the ball shears retaining screws, and the lock sleeve behind the dog shifts down. The dogs are now free to retract from the torque ring after the hanger slips are actuated. Added pressure extrudes the setting ball through the ball seat. It lands and seals on the lower ball seat for the next step, setting the hanger slips. With the running string still in tension, pressure is now diverted into the annular hydraulic piston, which moves upward, driving the hanger slips up and out against the casing. String weight is slacked off to fully deploy the slips. The hanger is now locked to the casing and holds the weight of the liner. Slacking off weight also moves the running tool mandrel down, completely disengaging the retaining dogs from the torque ring. The running tool is now free to rotate, but is still connected to the liner hanger by the float nut. Rotating the running string to the right disengages the float nut to completely disconnect the running tool from the liner hanger. The running tool is picked up to confirm release and set back down prior to cementing. Increased pressure forces the setting ball through the seat to fall to the bottom of the well. The running tool ID is now open for circulating and cementing. Cement is pumped through the running tool. A drill pipe wiper dart launched from surface wipes the running string behind the cement. At the bottom of the running tool, the dart latches into the liner wiper plug, which releases from the running tool and wipes the liner down to the plug landing collar in the shoe track. Cementing is complete. The next step is to mechanically actuate the liner top packer seal. First, the running tool is picked up until the packer setting dogs are above the tie back receptacle. When the packer setting dogs exit the receptacle, they pop out and lock. The running tool is then lowered until the setting dogs rest on top of the receptacle. Set down weight shears retaining screws in the hanger, and the running tool pushes the liner hanger setting cone downward. The cone expands the packer seal out against the inside of the casing, 
creating a permanent metal-backed seal at the top of the liner. An instant later, the downward force shears screws in the setting dog sub, and string weight delivers an impact force to the setting cone. Later, at the surface, these sheared screws verify that sufficient force was applied to the setting cone. After the seal is pressure tested, liner hanger installation is complete, and the running tool is tripped out of hole. The Vectraset liner hanger can now be tied back to surface by installing a floating seal tieback sub in the tieback receptacle, and well completion operations can proceed.